Video five, question 49. Um, this is very similar to a problem that we've seen before, but this seems to be what many students struggle with. And so there are several of these. So angle M is congruent to angle B. So I'm gonna mark the 40 there as well, mark it in both. Um, then it says, let's see, K is congruent to C, KC. And then find the value of X, meaning that these last two must be congruent. So I could write a two X in both of those. 2x there as well. K said 3x minus 5, so this is also going to be 3x minus 5. It just shows you, hey, these triangles match, so it doesn't matter which one we're looking at. I know that the interior angle sum of a triangle is 180, so I can say 40 plus 2x plus 3x minus 5. All three of those angles should add up to 180. And then I do some quick math. 35, I make that, um, so that's 35, so that's going to be 100 and um, 45. Sorry, y'all. And then I'm going to divide by uh, 5 on both sides. And when I do that, 14.5 times 2 is going to be 29. It said find the value of x, and that is what I did. So I get to stop there. So that was number 49. And so we're just going to keep going through this. Keep going through this. Um, find the measure of angle B, C, D, which is this exterior angle. And this is important because y'all have not seen this in a while. This pink angle is an exterior angle, it is exterior, meaning it is happening outside of the triangle, okay? And so what I do notice is that I have two interior angles and they're the two that are not touching that pink angle. It's not the linear pair, it's not this green star angle, it is the other two. And there is a theorem that we learned about the exterior angle that says that the um, two remote interior angles if I add together those two remote interior angles, you get the exterior angle. So I'm going to say blue in colors. That'd be blue plus blue. Those two not touching it add up to the pink exterior angle. And so I'm just going to plug that math in. That's going to be 40 plus 2x plus 20 equals the outside angle 3x plus 10. So I'd put a star on this question because it's been a while since you have seen that and it has been a bit. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to combine some like terms. I'm going to get 60 plus 2x equals 3x plus 10. I'm going to get my x's on the same side, and I get x is 50. It does not say to solve for x. It says to find the measure BCD, which is not what I've done. So now I'm going to actually go through and plug that in. This is BCD. It's this one right here. So I'm going to go through and actually plug that in. That's going to be 3 times 50 plus 10. So the measure of angle BCD is going to be equal to 160 degrees, 160. So now this is an example of where you would need to go back and check that and make sure that you did it right. Okay, so don't rush through these problems. Make sure you know what it's asking for because oftentimes um, they will have you go back and find something else after finding the value of X. All right, so this next problem says find the measure of angle one. This is a triangle, so the first thing I ask myself is what kind of triangle is it? It's got some markings on it, and it's got those markings on it for a reason. This is an isosceles triangle where those legs are congruent, and I know that these base angles are congruent. The two green ones, the ones that sit on the same base, those are also going to be congruent to each other. And so if that vertex angle, if that vertex angle is uh, 40, that means that the amount that I have remaining to use in this triangle is 180 minus 40, which is 140 degrees. But I have to use it evenly between angle one and what I'm gonna call angle two, since those are congruent. So I have to do 140 and I have to split it evenly. So angle one, find the measure of angle one, it is going to be 70 degrees. 70 degrees, that's that whole thing split evenly. Okay, so that was number 51. So we're getting closer to the end. Um, that was 51. This is our um, review, and we're just working through these problems, okay? All right, so let's go to this next one. Find the measure of angle one. Again, I have two different triangles. I've got the blue triangle. It's a right triangle on the left. I've got the pink triangle on the right, and that blue triangle is going to help me get into my pink triangle because these are going to be vertical angles. I have two out of the three. I have a 60 and a 90 here, so 180. Minus 90 minus 60 is going to give me a 30 degree angle, a 30 degree angle, which allows me to copy that 30 degree angle across here. And now for the pink triangle, I can go 180 minus 30 minus 65. 180 minus 30 minus 65. Okay. 
So that is going to give me an 85 degree angle for angle one. Find the measure of angle one. We found it, the measure of angle one is 85 degrees. All right, this next one asks for the slope of a line that is perpendicular to this line. So what is the slope currently? Negative two over one. I know that a perpendicular slope is going to be opposite reciprocal. So if one of them is positive A over B, the other one is gonna be the um, flip, which is negative B over A. So since this slope is positive two over one, I'm sorry, negative two over one, the perpendicular slope to that is going to be instead of negative, we're gonna make it positive. And instead of two over one, it's gonna be positive one over two. So my slope of a line that's perpendicular to that line is gonna be positive one half. Okay, very similar question, but instead of asking what is perpendicular, it says which one is parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope. So I'm looking for a slope that is also negative two fifths. So I can immediately get rid of all the ones that are not negative two fifths slope. These ones have the same slope, so we need to see which line is parallel to it. Something I notice is that this says minus one-third, just like this one says minus one-third. So these two lines are actually the same line, and so since those are the same line, they can't be parallel to each other, so it has to be A. A would have some space in it, and so it would not be crossing that original line. Which lines are perpendicular? Again, we're just looking for opposite reciprocal slopes. That's one half, it's negative one half. It's not flipped and switched. This is three, this is five, not flipped and switched. This is positive two thirds, this is negative three halves. So I'm thinking it's this one, but let's check the last one just to see. This one's two, positive two. This one's one half, so the fraction is opposite, but we do not have opposite signs, so it has to be C. We're just paying attention to slope on there. So what postulate or theorem shows that these lines are parallel? These are alternate interior angles, and so that would be the converse of alternate interior angles theorem. How do I know it's converse? Anytime you're trying to prove lines parallel, it's going to be the converse theorem. So this one, these are corresponding angles. They sit in the same corner, so this would be the converse of corresponding angles theorem. These are alternate exterior, that makes the lines parallel. So that would again be converse of alternate exterior angles theorem. What value would make these parallel? These are alternate exterior, so again, they're gonna be congruent. You can tell that they're gonna be congruent, not supplementary, because this is obtuse and this is obtuse. So I'm gonna set those two expressions equal. 120 should be equal to 3x plus six if these, 60 if these lines are going to be parallel. Um, and so I'd get 60 equals 3x, and so x equals 20. What value of x would be that? That is what I just found, so make sure you're finding the right thing. Two angles are complementary. What is the complement of 27? You're going to go 90 minus 27. 90 minus 27 is equal to 73 degrees. So the complement of 27 is 73. And then find the value of x. We see that this is a 90 degree angle which makes this whole thing a 90 degree angle. You could also say, hey, they all add up to 180. So 180 minus 90 minus 55 is going to give me 35 degrees remaining for angle X. And that does look like a 35 degree angle. Tune in for video six.